Hello, my name is Eric Chappelle, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 Essentials, and this is the additional exercise for Chapter 5. This is the first one of our additional exercises, which is really wide open to really do any way that you want. So I'm going to show you just one way that, uh, that th this can be done. But we've really kind of got a clean slate to design any way you see fit and you, it's a chance for you to get really creative. But what's important is that we meet the minimum design re requirements. We've got 150 feet offset from the road center line to the backs of the lots. That gives us enough room for a right of way and then the lots themselves. We need to do a perpendicular intersection with the existing road which is out here at point A. We need a tie there at a perpendicular direction. We need to stay out of the farm property that's going to stay the, the property of the farmer. And we need to also avoid the steep slope area, which is just simply too steep of an area to build homes on. So that's our, our constraints, basically. But beyond that, we're free to do what we want. So my first instinct is to start running the AutoCAD offset command using my 150 foot distance from the back of the lot to the center line. So I know that I can offset and if I run the alignment along here at least up to this area I know that I've got enough room on this side to put lots so I also need I need I also know I need to avoid this area here so I'm gonna offset that as well and this too I start to get a feel for what I have to work with now this seems like a lot of distance through here so if I ran an alignment through here I would have a row of lots here and a row of lots here so could I fit another alignment in between and still have one two three four rows of lots that would require 600 feet so let's see if we've got 600 feet here I'll just measure a quick distance and we don't we only have 420 some feet so I'm going to go a different route and say, well, let's let's make this one of our alignments. And we'll offset that 150 feet. That'll be the back of one set of lots. There's another set of lots, and this will be the uh, the center line of the next road over. And then there will be the backs of lots there as well. I'll take those two alignments and extend them down. To, uh, to this this other 150 foot buffer here. So now I know that I can make, and actually I need to extend this one down. Now I know that I can make a cul-de-sac off the end of this alignment and, and have enough space for lots um, off the back here and a little bit here as well. Alright, so it's looking like those are going to be my alignments. I'll clean this up just a little bit more extend that into there and extend that into there trim it's a lot of AutoCAD going on here obviously this is not uh, very much civil 3d skill we're talking about and now we're starting to get a rough idea of where these alignments are going to go so now I'll do a line perpendicular to the arc at point A and in order to be perpendicular, I know I need to pass through the center of the arc. So I'm going to do a line from the center of this arc to the center of point A. And then I'm just going to extend it right into my temporary geometry over here. And that's really slicing out a lot of space here. So I'm going to try to get up into my path a little more quickly, like we did with the, uh, the earlier design. So I'm just going to draw a line kind of in that direction. Trim everything out. And now I'm starting to get a better look at, uh, at what I'm dealing with. I'll bring this line down to point A. And now I'm looking at one alignment here and one alignment here. I've got at least 150 feet on this side and this side. 150 feet on this side and this side. So I can put lots all through here. One row of lots here, another row of lots here, and another row of lots here. Now I don't have... Uh, I, I could put another row of lots back here, but there isn't enough 
there's there's no way to access them because the road is fronting these lots right here. So I know you have to picture a lot of that in your mind, but that's really what uh, what goes on when you're designing something like this. So now I can start creating alignments. Use my alignment creation tools, and I'll call this Jordan Court this this main road through here, and I'll start at point A. Maybe even turn on my object snaps. Turn on the endpoint object snap. And just work my way along here and create my tangents with curves right up to the end. And I'll do another one. This one will be Madison Lane. pretty simple straight line here and this radius probably can be a lot shorter maybe we can go with 50 feet there these look pretty good already and there's our there's our alternate layout that's one of literally an, a limitless number of alternate layouts we could uh, we could pick from so that is one way that you could complete the additional exercise for chapter five. I really recommend that you try to do at least another alternate. In fact, three would be even better. The, uh, the exercise itself calls for uh, three total alternates. Um, just to give you some ideas, you know, what if, what if we kind of freeformed it a little more? what if we said let's just go ahead and forget all this construction geometry and let's worry about the buffers second so I'll call this Jordan Court and I'll just go ahead and start drawing an alignment in starting at point A roughly perpendicular and what happens now if I come down around here make a sharp turn and then go this way and then have some other alignments coming off of that so what if we make Madison Lane start say at the midpoint of this alignment and come up this way or maybe even make a turn So really just kind of free it here just to get some ideas of the different shapes we might be able to pull off and then what if we did even another one Logan Court so we can get some pretty bizarre looking layouts here and what if we did kind of a horseshoe type thing with this If you've ever looked at any aerial photographs on Google Earth or anything like that, you see some pretty crazy layouts for um, for subdivision plans. So I could play with this now and start looking at some of the buffers. Maybe I take my alignments and I offset them 150 feet rather than the other direction and start to get an idea about how some of these lots are going to, to lay out. Okay, so there's lots of different ways you can attack this. You can draw the offsets first, you can draw the alignments first, and then work on uh, tweaking and adjusting it until you get the, the layout that you like. So have fun with this one, spend some time with it, try to come up with three different alternate layouts, and uh, see how you can employ your creativity along with the tools that you've learned about uh, that deal with drawing alignments to make uh, some really cool designs.